happen if all of that rain fell in one giant drop? Let's say that there's a town called Rainwell. It's a small little village, quaint, quiet, but with a little something special that happens there. Whenever it rains, it always rains in one big drop. What would that even look like? Let's see, an average size cumulus cloud, those big fluffy ones, is about 1.24 miles wide, 1.55 miles long, and 0.12 miles tall. That's about uh, 0.23 miles cubed, give or take. Multiply that by the density of water in a cloud and you could wind up with a giant drop of water that weighs approximately 1.1 million pounds. Wow, that's a heavy raindrop. Just imagine the size of that. Using a banana for scale, that would be around 16 million bananas. Guess no one in Rainwell is going to be hungry today. I hope they like potassium. 1.1 million pounds can also be measured with other things. That's three blue whales, 4.4 million fungo pops, or 8,029 average human adults. Oh my, it's raining men. Hmm, 1.1 million pounds would also be about 300 medium-sized cars. Say, a Mini Cooper. What if we put all of that over a Mini Cooper? Let's see, 1.1 million pounds dropped in a single drop onto a Mini Cooper, multiply the weight by terminal velocity, and then you get a destroyed Mini Cooper. Huh. Wait, I know I've seen a video like this before. Right, Richard Hammond dropped a year's worth of rainwater on top of a car once. What happened to that car? Crushed, absolutely crushed. And that was just 13 feet of water. Not nearly as much as the giant drop Rainwell is dealing with. I don't even want to think about what a drop that big would do to my house. Or on my head. Ugh, why did I even think about that? You know, I don't think many people live in Rainwell anymore. I sure would want to. Well, at least I don't have to worry about that. Or, like, a massive raindrop with all the rainwater in the country. Something that huge would do way worse than just destroying houses or cars. It would create a supersonic explosion of water that would destroy everything within somewhere around 62 miles. Ah, darn. I thought about it too hard. Guess I'm not sleeping tonight. Ugh. <sighs>